Hi, so welcome back. This is where we left off yesterday um, with our 100,000 welcomes. That's what that says, said me old field tech. Probably said that wrong because my Irish uh, is a little, has a little southern twang, which does not sit well. Okay, so today I want to walk you through the thread room. And um, this is the front door where we came in. And then right to your left as you walk into the door is the thread room, which we like to call the rabbit hole. And so we have a little bit of an Alice in Wonderland theme going on in here. And there's all kinds of phrases around the ceiling, wrapped around the ceiling, and those are all from Alice in Wonderland. And if you notice the rug on the floor, that's a vinyl rug, is the view of the floor when Alice fell into the rabbit hole. So that is what the floor looked like. Got a cool little Victorian bird cage there. And I'm just gonna first give you just a view and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you about it all. But, so this is this is what you see when you walk into the rabbit hole. Um, pretty little chandelier up there. I'm just gonna turn around this way until I get back to the door. So that's where I came in at. Okay, so try not to give you a whiplash. But I'm gonna kind of walk around the room and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you more about it. So the beautiful flowers that you're gonna see over in front of the bay window were a gift from Fiber Talk. So thank you guys so much for those beautiful flowers that came yesterday to help us celebrate our grand opening. Um, you got a thread cabinet here in the middle, with lots and lots of silks in it. Fun little Alice in Wonderland tree, you know, with Gloriana's sacrifice at the foot of the tree. <laughs> so, um, had a little chaos in here today. It's been a fun, fun, fun day. And so you'll notice that these, uh, oh, well, you have some Alice in Wonderland Renaissance ribbon up there on top. You'll notice that we have our slider walls still that we had in our old shop. So they're back. And then, oh, yeah, on this side you have more silks. So... <laughs> And um, the fun thread kits that we got from Cottage Garden from Market. So, so it is a bit of a little wonderland in here with all this beautiful silk. And the whole wall behind there is Gloriana. On the front here is Belle Soie, Needlepoint Ink. Um, you've got these beautiful Belle Soie hanks that we twisted um, with all the silks that they sent us. And then the walls slide. And you get to see... I've got the full line of Gloriana, so we're out of a few already, which is fantastic. So let me talk to you about what's in this room, because this this is one of my favorite rooms. I really wanted you to walk in here and be like, wow. <laughs> and so um, you'll have to tell me what you think about it, but I love it. So in here we have hoops and accoutrement, and we've got to restock all of that from our bins. We've got some uh, stretcher bars. We add more to that. Um, this first cabinet has Soie de Paris, Soie Goblin. Um, and if we keep walking here, we give away little thread keeps, um, little rings with cards on there so you can pull your threads and you can write on the back of the card um, what project you pulled it for. So just so that you remember. Um, the front cabinet is all a Soie 103. And got a beautiful stained glass butterfly there. And of course, up on the top, you've got, oh, oh, that's a surprise. Did you see that? So, yeah, I don't know how well you can see that, but there was a natural knot hole in the wood there. So we, um, with watercolors, my niece Megan drew us a beautiful um, eye for the Cheshire Cat. And you can see his little cheeky grin under it and his tail. And again, so all of the phrases are from Alice in Wonderland. And then on this side of the cabinet, we have our, the rest of the 103 line. We have our Swasserfine. We're putting labels inside, so we left our tape on the outside till we finished that up. We have Sachiko thread and some Sachiko printed fabric. Um, we have, I know you're gonna just be shocked and amazed, some more cell charts in here. We tried to spread them out so people could look at them. We've got lots of great embroidery kits. 
And we have some little bit of white work kits. We've got some stitch on wood kits from Romy. We've got some Mill Hill kits. We have small frames. So if you're doing punch needle or Mill Hill, you can frame your little pieces. This big, beautiful spinner rack here is Cosmo. Um, beautiful Cosmo. Behind it is DMC. And then those gorgeous flowers from Fiber Talk, guys. Those were stunning. Just stunning. And they smell so good. So thank you so much for that. On the bay window walls, you guys heard me talk about this probably when we were doing it, um, is a, a wallpaper that we framed out with picture molding and it's a um, strawberry thief design and some really wild Alice in Wonderland-ish colors. And so um, that's why that's there. And it's on both sides. You just can't see it because we've got the beautiful DMC in front of it. Um, so, and that's our little matching table. You can match your threads in natural white, should you so desire. Um, this cabinet of threads starts out with some linen thread from London to Dairy Linen Thread. It's also on the other side of this cabinet. And then we go into needlepoint ink silk. So a lot of silks, especially the ones in skeins, I like to keep inside cabinets so that they don't get messed up. Like, you know, the little small folded skeins. On top, you've got a lot of beautiful Satsuma Street designs. Of course, we had to put the Alice in Wonderland right out front. Um, this is the cool Alice in Wonderland tree with a little drink me, eat me, and little kitty cats. Um, lots more Satsuma Street. We have tons of the uh, kits with the perforated paper. And then when you get over here to the end of the Satsuma Street, we actually have, I mean, sorry, well, the end of the Needlepoint ink, we actually have um, the Seasons line of Cosmo. We ran out of room on our spinner rack, so we left them there. So that is the Seasons line. Now this is Floche. We are divesting of Floche just because we have limited space. And while we do sell some, we don't sell tons. And I'm just having to make some hard choices. So if you guys want Floche, it is marked down to 450 for the big fat skein of that. So you should go online and order you some Floche. Okay. And then we come over here, we have our Chronic. And we have a little bit of cleanup to do on that. That's our chronic. We do have Mill Hill bees. They're not all in here yet. Um, we've got some fibers for, you know, needlepoint, which have a lot more of that to bring in. We do carry the full line of sulky threads. We don't have those in here yet. They'll be in here in a couple weeks. Um, we carry the full line of Weeks Dye Works. It's on the back wall. The full line of Classic Color Works on the sliders. Um, the full line of Gentle Art on the walls, and then I'll come back to what else is on there. Um, here we have Dinky Dye Works, and we had a little collision with that today, so we uh, got to do a little straightening on that. It was busy in here, it was fun, and I appreciate you all, I'm so grateful. Um, we do have some charts from Hands On Design that are kitted for the 17th, because you know that was our brick and mortar birthday, it was March 17th. So we have Lennon and Ada for that, and the pins, and um, the threads are all kitted in there. It's, Lots of fun stuff. I don't know if you can see all the threads down underneath. Some of the packs have threads, some of them don't, um, but they all have pins. It's fun. And then Mojo Stitches, we've got some of those kits made for some of her designs. Um, we still have boxed kits of Hearts for Pam from Cottage Garden Threads and Witchy Stitcher's Spooky Thread Pack, which I love. We've got some of Leah in here. We actually have a whole wall of Leah in the other room. I love of Leah. So we have a lot of her stuff. Um, more hands-on design, so we have tons of it. We pretty much have her full line, and believe it or not, um, I stitched something, or somebody did. I can't remember now if that was me or one of my helpers, but we've got one finished. <laughs> I actually have a lot of hands-on design finished that just aren't um, finished, finished, fully finished. So underneath is Swat Alger, um, beautiful, gorgeous Swat Alger. And again, you know, I mentioned I like to keep them in boxes, so... Uh, this whole wall of boxes has Swat Alger in it. So we do carry the full line of Swat Alger. And when we come back over to this wall, um, we've got Belle Swa from Classic Color Works, which is their silk line. And we've got some Hanks from Needlepoint Ink. We do like to keep um, more colors in Needlepoint Ink and Hanks. And so we've got some more of those ordered. Um, we also have hanks that we wound, so we ordered um, huge quantities, in my opinion, 
of um, silk from Classic Colorworks in their Belle Swalon. And I asked them for hanks, and they didn't make hanks, so they said we could make them. So we just ordered thousands and thousands of yards, and we twisted it. Um, and so we've got, you know, several colors of red, blue, green. We're going to be bringing in some more colors, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So those are 40-yard hanks, and we did it in 40 yards because that's what you needed to stitch our Alice Ellen uh, Usher Bristol um, reproduction. You needed 40 yards, and so that's why that's there. Um and then underneath we have cottage garden threads. So we have, um, I think they call it their stitchers line. So we brought that in and we've decided that we need the rest of them. So we'll bring in, be bringing in the rest of them. Underneath are a lot of the kits that they came out with at market. So Mary Shelley, Fireside. Um, there's one for Christmas called Yule. Um, just all kinds of beautiful threads and packs down there. And those are all on our website. You can find those. And then behind this beautiful wall, we actually start behind this first slider is Chloriana. And, um, okay, so Gloriana starts and it takes up the whole rest of the wall. So we do carry the full line of Gloriana silks, um, the stranded silks. Let's see, it's six, six yards of 12 stranded silk out of France. And so Gloriana, their twisting machine broke. And they can't replace it, so they've stopped twisting. So that's why I see some that are hanging straight and some that are twisted. They'll keep sending them twisted till all that stock is gone. But we got these in about a month ago, and they have been just amazing. It's really hard for me to not just walk down this wall and just scoop up a handful and take them home. But I don't, because I want you to do it. <laughs> so, so that's all the glory on it. So fun stuff. And then we have some finishing thread here. I kind of missed that on my walk, walk through. Got some great finishing thread there. That's a good book. The Stitch Bible, if you don't have that, that's fantastic. So we do have those Halloween, and we also have some Christmas um, charts, the perforated paper stuff from Satsuma Street. Um, lots of other good books here. So Black Work Book. Um, that's a really cool book, Cross Stitch for the Heart. It's got a bunch of um, designs in it. This book over here called Feminist Cross Stitch is really snarky and fun. Love it. Um, what else can I show you? I showed you the Sashiko thread and some of the embroidery kits. Really fun. And those little stitch, in, stitch on wood is great. Again, the really cool Mill Hill. So I think, folks, that is it for the thread room. Um... And pretty much all this stuff should be online. There's some organizers from Yazi. Um, we gotta restock some hoops. I think we have some in there. Underneath these cabinets is our back stock of stuff. We have lots of back stock that we keep of silks um, and all kinds of other things. We do need to get some in because as we moved, you know, we didn't order for a few weeks. And so we've been selling a lot, so we do need to order. So you may find that we're out of a few things, but it should be on its way. So Alice is up there looking at the Cheshire Cat. Um, and the words right before that say, well, I've often seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat. <laughs> You've got Alice up there looking at him. And then the next one says, you may have noticed that I'm not all there myself. And curiouser and curiouser. Most everyone's mad here. <laughs> Why, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Um, only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. I'm not crazy. My reality is just different from yours. Not all who wander are lost. And then there's a few more on the other side of the pole. So how we got that up there is my niece, Megan, um, used a stencil to draw them on and then she hand painted all the letters that took forever. Um, so anyway, I hope you like it. We'll be doing a little bit more in here, and I hope you come to visit us. And if you can't come visit us online, I mean, in person, I hope you will visit us online, and I will show you more soon. So, before I forget, let me remind you that during our nine days of Grand Hurrah, we are giving out a lot of raffle prizes. So, like this video, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, and leave us a comment. And maybe you can leave us a comment um, about what you liked about this third room because I would love to see it. And then I will do a drawing for everybody who leaves a comment so that way you don't have to make a purchase. 
You just have to play this little game with me, which is fun. We've got some great prizes. I didn't get to do the drawing today for yesterday, but I will be doing it. So do not fret. It was quite a busy, 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 busy day. And I'm so grateful for it. I appreciate it. I will show you more tomorrow. So have a great night. Enjoy everything that you get to see. And we will meet again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.